In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. The Gospel of the Lord Yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of the Holy Trinity. This is one of the most important days of the Church's year, as we remember and celebrate God in all of his glory, and worship him as one God and three persons. Of course, this isn't an easy thing to understand. How can we he be free and one? This is not an easy question to answer. What we can know though is that because he is a community of persons he can love and has loved for all of eternity. Love cannot exist alone. There must be a lover, one who is loved and the love between them. This is one way in which we can begin to understand God as Trinity. The Father loves the Son and that love itself is the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. In our own lives, we can see this image of God mirrored, even if imperfectly, in our families. A husband loves their wife, and the love between them is another person, you and me, the children. So let us pray today for our families, that they may be places where we may experience a deeper love. Maybe a task for you today, as the Feast of the Holy Trinity causes us to reflect on communities of love, take a moment to pause and think of the communities, both big and small, in which you experience love. Maybe that is in your family, your group of friends, school or elsewhere. And just pray that each of these communities may grow in love and be transformed by its power. So let us finish in prayer. Lord God, Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we give you thanks for our families and all communities in which we find love. As we acknowledge you as one God in three persons, we pray that the love which you share may overflow into our lives so that we may experience its transformative power. May we learn to love those around us better so that their lives may be made richer by the knowledge that they are loved. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.